buildings here for the uh, Protoss player. He didn't use his forge at all for anything. No cannons, no upgrades, no nothing. But this Colossus is out, and it can be scary. He does not have range, so he will be in range um, of these Marines. And that is a buttload of them as well. Continue, uh, continued production of them. This armory will finish, and we shall see uh, exactly if a uh, Colossus will pop out of there soon. There's that one weapon upgrade that we expected a little bit sooner in the previous games. But now five Zealots, six Zealots, and a Colossus going to be able to do a little bit more damage if properly used, I think. This Colossus needs to stay in the background. But a scan going down revealing that Colossus. So he's going to move out, back up a little bit, dance around for his opponent, and, and warp in more Zealots. Because he only has two gates, um, it kind of hinders him a lot, but the second um, Colossus comes out, still no range. Um, kind of baffling to me. Here's that Thor that is on the way. We are getting vehicle le weapons level 1. He's getting ship up weapons level 1. That was definitely a misclick, because he doesn't even have a starport, you see. Uh, he does uh, is finally putting down his expansion. And these marines are kind of going around this observer, seeing if it's safe for him to come out of his base. Continuing to get zealots. Do we have charge done? Yes, we do. So these zealots are going to be able to get up there and do a little bit more damage. Hopefully, for the Protoss player, think we shall see this weapon level 1 before they um, engage each other. But one thing that we do need to see is range. With range, all these marines will go nowhere against the Colossus. Um, but unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. The first Thor is out. He does not have the uh, somewhat useless 250mm strike cannon. Um, now he's getting that first uh, armor upgrade. Now we see the clash. These Colossi are going to be ripping up everything. You saw that one go to 5, and unfortunately he doesn't have the back, he doesn't have the micro here to uh, take out the, the Marines on the high ground. So the Marines are able to survive, but they're nearly dead and easily able to be one-shotted by the Colossus. We do see another one coming out. Still no range. Big range issue here. Uh, weapons level 1 has been completed. This Thor is going to do massive, massive damage. And it looks like ship level 1 is going to complete. And Kryosin will be scratching his head because of it. Um, armor level 2 on the way as well. But the Thor going to just do a lot, a lot of damage here to the pylon. Um, now it looks like he's going to thinks going to be moving out, trying to use his Colossus against the Thor. Not going to be so useful because of the high hit points and armor that the Thor does possess. Now unpowering those warp gates, and this could be it. Uh, with this Colossus goes down, all he has left is one more on the way, and I don't see this uh, ending well for the thing. In fact, he leaves the game. Uh, Krausen does get his as planetary up and started starting to be um, effective uh, producing SCVs and continuing to mine out minerals. He's nearly mined out of his main. About the same as the Protoss player. This one for some reason has a lot more than these. Um, looks like it wasn't saturated as well but we do see the same type of build even though he did get ship weapons for his Thor it doesn't really matter. Um, Krausen continuing to do the Mass Marine now into Thor. It's like an upgraded bonus. Um, taking out a poorly managed Colossi without range. And then he could have gotten that one attack upgrade much, much sooner uh, and been much more effective as well as getting an additional gateway. Uh, producing one more Zealot. That one more Zealot and one more Zealot uh, compounds pretty quickly and might have been able to hold this attack off much, much quicker and better. But um, Kryosin continuing to use this Mass Marine in Thor style, and it works well for him. All these games have been in the Platinum slash Diamond level. Um, doesn't really mean all that much, considering oh, the state of the leagues um, as it stands. But pretty good players uh, go down to this another Thor on the way. One Marine standing vigil with his shield and his stims. Um, but yeah, this Thor really making his bank. 
uh, absorbing a lot of damage from the Colossus, allowing the Marines um, the chance to help unpower these warp gates and seal the victory for Cryosyn. So, I think I have a couple more Cryosyn games to cast, and then we'll go on to something else, which I will find out soon. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any beta replays that you want me to cast before the game goes live, by all means, please send them to me. Mention the patch that you played them on, and uh, you can send them to jhanchosc at gmail.com. Uh, I will be looking at them, and I will probably cast them all, even if they're not the best game. If you think they're funny, if you think you did something really well, or if you just want pointers, uh, let me know. So, good luck, have fun, and see you at launch.